So what we have here is a uh, early 40s built in 1941 Lockheed Lodestar. Uh, it was originally uh, built and developed for uh, the military. It was designated as a C-60. In 1943, the aircraft went to Canadian Pacific Airways and it flew cargo and flew their passengers through those times for about seven years before it came back to the States and changed hands a few times. About 13 years ago, the airplane was kind of left almost abandoned in California City, California, and been sitting uh, when the owner of the museum had found it, purchased it. We went out there, resurrected it, took a team with us, and uh, went through all the systems, got a uh, letter of authorities through the FAA to fly it home. This time around, it has been sitting for a little over four years. It had some structural things that we were concerned about and we didn't have a plan to fix it. What came to be is through a very casual comment at the Antique Airplane Association fly-in in Texas, a guy says, hey, if you need some help with some projects, we'd love to help the museum. And his name is Ike Birchenall and he now works for us at the museum full time. But Birchenall is a big name in Warbirds. And so here we are with the same name helping us here resurrect this airplane. Ike comes along with his wife, Allison. To have them together working as a team to save these old airplanes has been fantastic. Really a lot of the credit goes to those two for allowing the airplane to be here today because the airplane was technically grounded. And if it wouldn't have been for them, the airplane would still be grounded. We had other volunteers come in, uh, help polish, and we had other volunteers come in, help do some of the leg work. Uh, it was a big team, was, there's a lot to list. So when we started restoring the airplane, we already had some system knowledge on you know, mechanics and avionics and interior. And so polishing was definitely new to us. What really helps now with polished airplanes is when we polished it the first time, there was no protective coatings for polished airplanes. You just had to polish it every year, and that takes a team. This time, a team of three from the museum started polishing it in April, and they finished polishing it about two weeks ago. With the Johns 360 two-part process, we can now ceramic coat it. Unlike a clear coat, the ceramic coating goes on and it seals it. This is gonna be a true testament to see how long a polished job lasts this time. So adding this to our museum has been fantastic. We, we have everything from antiques, warbirds, we have commercial aircraft, and uh, recently we've been getting into helicopters. I always ask people, do you know why the B-25 is Scott's favorite fixed wing airplane? It's because the Lodestar isn't flying. So now that we have the Lodestar flying again, there's no question in my mind, this is Scott's favorite fixed wing airplane. It has the speed that you want for cross country with good range, it carries a lot of people. It's incredible how much room it has in it with a stand up cabin. It's like a party. We don't even care if it has windows, we're back there just having a good time. We were playing cards on the way here. To be able to bring this airplane with the team that restored it. And Ike and Allison, you know, on the team, this is their first trip to EAA, they've never been. As cool as it is to say, yeah, I got to help fly the airplane here, the big honor is to be able to bring those people that's not been and bring an airplane that's not been. EAA just puts on such an amazing event and the people here and the friends and that you make for, for life just so makes worth bringing the airplane. Yeah.